This tutorial explains how to wrap long axis labels in a ggplot2 plot into multiple lines. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And we can print these data to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our data frame contains two columns, which are called X and Y. And the first column contains our labels. So as you can see, some of the labels are very long and the column Y contains numeric values. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines eight and nine of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line nine of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar, as you can see in lines 11 and 12. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right by running line 13 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new ggplot2 bar plot. And you can also see that some of the labels in this bar plot are overlapping because they are too long. So if you want to wrap those long axis labels into multiple lines, we can use the string R package. And in order to use the functions of the string R package, we also need to install and load this package, as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the str wrap function of the string R package, as you can see in lines 18 and 19. So in line 18, I'm specifying the name of the plot object that we have created before. And then I'm adding to this the scale x discrete function. And within this function, I'm specifying that I want to change the labels. And I'm assigning to the labels argument a user defined function in which I'm applying the str wrap function. And I'm specifying that the maximum width of our labels should be equal to 10. So if you run lines 18 and 19 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And this time our long labels have been wrapped into multiple lines. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.